It's Wednesday, November 5th, 2014. Good morning. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com. Clearing skies this morning with seasonable temperatures. We'll have rain to end the week. We'll take a look at that. And do we have colder weather coming? Get all the details on that and much more starting right now. Clouds to start this morning, but look just to our north, right along the lakeshore from Ash to Beulah towards Cleveland and even down towards Finley now. Clouds are moving out of here, so we are going to see sun increasing through the morning. I think by lunchtime, a good part of the area will be mainly sunny. A caveat to that is it's going to be cooler today. There is some cool air working in behind this this morning, so highs today can be about 10 degrees cooler than they were yesterday. Rain is moving out of Ohio that affected us last night. Actually, a lot of it dissipated overnight. As we take a look at the rest of the country, you can see how extensive this particular system is. All the way up from about Hudson Bay, all the way down towards New Mexico. Look at that. That's a big system bringing a lot of changes. Cold air to the northern plains, 30s and 40s this morning. Some snow up here in parts of North Dakota. Otherwise, a mix or some cold rain right around Fargo and uh, even uh, Aberdeen there as well. Cold off to the west as well in the mountains, 20s and 30s to start even for parts of Arizona and New Mexico. Lots of rain down here in Texas. Not that they're complaining. They could still use it. Dry along the east coast, a little mild temperatures in the upper 50s to start this morning. Currently, downtown Cleveland is 44 degrees under partly cloudy skies as those skies begin to clear from north to south. Winds are out of the southwest at about 10 miles an hour. It is humid out there with the rain we had last night. A dew point of 38 is giving us a wind chill of 39 degrees, so it does feel a little bit cooler out there than the actual air temperature. Across the rest of the area, temperatures are generally in the middle 40s. We're at 45 Akron, Youngstown, and Worcester, 46 Sandusky and Ashtabula. Inland, Mansfield's 44, and Dover, New Philly at 47 degrees. Our almanac for today, the high yesterday was 65 degrees to low 49. We were 10 degrees above the average high of 55. Our records for today, 75 and 16. Uh, at the making of this almanac, we had no measurable precipitation, but we did get rain late yesterday evening, so we did get some rain uh, yesterday. Sunrise is at 7.04 a.m. and sunset is at 5.18 p.m. On the future cast, here we are at Thursday morning. We do have rain moving to an area as a low pressure system moves out of the northwest and combines with the developing low pressure system over the east we get rain on thursday night and into friday and then we get this little clearing here late friday into early saturday here comes the rain for saturday afternoon and it does get chilly enough that we could see some mixed precipitation saturday evening i think it'll still be in the form of rain for the most part but a few snowflakes or some uh sleet could mix in there from time to time better chance for maybe some lake effects snow sunday and sunday evening we'll see that in just a moment first our forecast for today cloudy skies this morning we are going to clear through the morning hours by late morning i think everything north of 76 will be mainly sunny cooler than yesterday a high of 54 degrees winds start of the south at about 5 to 10 miles an hour we start chilly in the low 40s at 7 o'clock under cloudy skies we warm up to about 50 degrees by 11 o'clock and then we kind of level off there we hit 54 by 2 p.m before temperatures fall back down to 50 by 5 o'clock Akron and Canton, just a degree warmer in here, 55. Cloudy skies this morning will clear out pretty much by lunchtime across much of the area. And again, we get into the middle 50s by mid-afternoon. Overnight tonight, clouds will increase through the overnight hours. As that next system approaches for Thursday, rain showers possible by daybreak, especially south, low right around 44 degrees. On the seven-day forecast, rain showers for your Thursday, a high of 52. It will actually be the... Uh, last warm day if you will for quite some time then the bottom drops out rain showers thursday night scattered rain maybe a few snow showers mixed in there for your friday a high of only 39 we do clear out friday night cold in the upper 20s mid 20s inland we hit 41 on saturday with that afternoon rain coming through again we do get cold enough aloft that we could have some snow showers mix in 
for your Sunday. We got a high of 40, but it's going to be cold aloft. That colder air is really going to come in. And we could see a few snow showers. Best chance Sunday night. That's lake effect snow. Is it going to be uh, movable? A little too early to tell. Right now, it doesn't look like it. But do stay tuned for the latest. We dry out Monday. Cold, though. Partly cloudy in 39. Rain moves in for your Veterans Day Tuesday later in the afternoon, a high of 43 degrees.